Hi everyone and again welcome back to ASFC Chemistry. I'm going to go through something with you now that's new to the OCR A level and it's to do once again as you can see from the skeletal this is to do with benzene it's a cursive Z I don't know why I do them all the time like that but if you get taught by me you do get used to it now what we've got here are three different examples of benzene just here that we're going to label up with some extra details. And the reason we're going to label them up with some extra details is because of the work that's been chucked onto your spec about directing effects. So we've got... different groups that are bonded to the benzene ring, which has always been on the A-level. Actually now though, new addition to the A-level, they are actually causing for the reactivity of that benzene ring to change and new groups, if a new group is being substituted on, so it is a substitution reaction still of course, but you could think of it as a new group being added on I suppose, because it seems like something new was there even though it's been swapped for a hydrogen. The directing effects of these groups that are already bonded to the benzene will force the new group being put on to a very particular position. So we're going to summarize that just down here at the end. So first off, we can look at some older spec content, which is still, of course, 100% relevant, which means we are going to be looking at phenol. Now, for phenol, what you've got is an OH group instead of just an H group directly bonded to the benzene ring. Now, what does that actually mean? Well, what it means for us is there's an oxygen here, which has actually got two lone pairs, but we're just going to consider one of them just now. It's got this P orbital there, and this P orbital is going to push electron density, push this P orbital down and in and towards the delocalized pi bond. Now, we need some exam-friendly terminology now, don't we? We need something that we can write down on paper. We can say, that is exactly what I need to be saying here. When you have the oxygen here directly bonded, when it's the next one up, we can say that the P orbital is donated. This is spec-specific terminology just there. The P orbital is donated. So what's the knock-on effect? Come on, give me a domino for this. The domino effect here then is, ignore this bit for a moment now. We know the P orbital is being donated. Lots of electrons traveling, if we extend the bond there a bit, put an arrow on it, in this direction. What happens to the ring part here, okay? So don't worry about the individual bonds. We're looking at the ring density just here. And we can say that the electron density increases. Now, what does that mean? Well, that will then make the ring more reactive. Specifically, it's going to attack the electrophiles more readily. So reactions before where you needed, for instance, a halogen carrier catalyst, no longer require that catalyst. So it's worth going back to your notes and checking the examples where you've used the catalyst and now noting that you would not need them any longer because you've got this group connected directly to one of the carbons in the benzene ring. So this group is described since the P orbital, which has the electrons, is being donated into the benzene ring. This is described as an electron donating group. Another example of an electron donating group is if you put an NH2 group onto the benzene ring. And this can be seen in phenyl amine. Now, just to sum up, these are both electron donating groups. And they make the ring, and we've got to concentrate on the ring structure there, so it's the ring that reaches out to electrophiles, and they make the ring more reactive. You could extend that by saying that they more readily attack the electrophile. They are now able to induce a dipole, for instance, in molecules such as Br2. So, what about the opposite? What about something that pulls electron density away? These two push in. What about something that is an electron withdrawing group? 
Well, an example of an electron with drawing group is an NO2, a nitro group. And you actually know how to add that onto the molecule right at the start of the benzene topic. So it's worth making sure you understand that. Now what's happening here is the electrons, and you don't need to know much more about it at your level, the electrons are actually being withdrawn from the benzene ring. And as you might expect, that is going to make it less, specifically the ring part, remember, less reactive less able to induce a dipole. Very, very slow reactions now. So other than reactivity, more reactive, less reactive, what actually happens in terms of this directing effect that I've mentioned down here? Well, if we just draw the skeletal of two benzenes just there, so just wanna make sure they fit on your page. Now, if I take this one here and I put an electron donating group, just going to call it with a D just there, what happens is the new groups which are being substituted onto the molecule, so they appear like they've been added, but as I mentioned at the start, remember that is a substitution process of putting them on there. The new groups that are going to be there are going to be pushed, if you imagine numbers all the way around here, one, two, three, four, five, six, the donating group pushes the groups to positions two and four when they go on. Now it would of course push to six as well, but that's kind of a in brackets because of course the six is just a two but counted in the other direction. Positions three and five are not where the new groups would go if there was a donating group already on the benzene ring. In contrast, if we have an electron withdrawing group like the NO2, then if we number up all the way around once again, so one, two, three, four, five, six, where the groups get pushed in the substitutions when the withdrawing group is bonded to the benzene ring is to positions three and, of course, the mirror of that, which would be five. Now, if you look this up online, you'll actually find different terms like author, meta, and para to describe the positioning around the benzene. But we just use the numbers here at A level, and OCR have introduced this with the understanding of the numbers being used. The other thing as well is they say very clearly in the spec that you only need to know from memory the impact of an NO2, an OH, and an NH2 in the directing effects, knowing that you've got an electron withdrawing and the two donating groups just here. You don't need to know any further examples, but they could tell you in the exam that such a group is an electron withdrawing group, just like the NO2, and you'd be expected to apply to that context. But don't go learning a big table of them. It is readily available online if you research it, but do not go learning that because there's no point. It won't come up. They will provide you with the context related to one of these three. I hope that's nice and clear for you. Just gonna show you the benzene model one more time. There it is. Happy revising.